Hello everyone. As you all, as you all know that we are taking the session on this time series analysis, and uh, by using this time series data or analysis, we can make certain environmental forecasting. So in our previous session, previous lecture, we have talked about the time series data, its properties and its applications, and various softwares which are used for the analyzing time series data. Okay, as I have told you. Uh, there are uh, three types of time dependent data. One is uh, time series data, another is cross sectional data, and third one is panel data. So, basically, uh, time series data I have already told you. So, in this session, we will talk about the cross sectional data and panel data. Okay. So, this cross sectional data is nothing, it is different from the panel data or time series data or panel data in, the, in such a way that in time series data, uh, we arrange the data, we, or we take the observations on different point of time, okay? If you, are, if you are collecting the observations yearly, then we take the observations on yearly basis, like 2010, then 2011, 2012, and up to 2020, okay? If we are taking the 10 years data, okay? If we are taking the yearly data or weekly data, like Monday, Tuesday, and such that, so, these are different time points. So we are collecting data on different, uh, different time points. But in cross-sectional data, we are taking observations at a single point of time. Okay, this is the basic difference between time series data and cross-sectional data. Like uh, in cross-sectional data, we are taking the observations at a single point of time. Like uh, uh, what are the different COVID cases in India into in this today? It means uh, this particular day where we are talking about in different states of the India because this there is the common time point that is part, this particular day and in this day we are taking observations from different states of India. What are the COVID cases? So this particular type of data, time-dependent data is called cross-sectional data, okay? Or there is another example. Suppose we want to know the average pollution level of different metropolitan cities at a single point of time. This particular time may be anything like 31st May of 2021. So this is a single point of time and we are collecting the information or observations in that particular time. So this is called cross-sectional data. Okay, so you hope the, I hope you have understood the basic difference between time series data and cross-sectional data. So in time series data, there we are collecting the data on different point of time. But in cross-sectional data, we are collecting the observations or data at a single point of time. Okay, so this is the difference. So the another most another important data uh, time dependent data is panel data. So how it is different from both time series and you know cross sectional data? So this is nothing. This is the hybrid of time series and cross sectional data. So this particular data, some of data is time series data, and some data is arranged in you know cross-sectional data. So this data is a hybrid or mix of time series and cross-sectional data. So generally, we will pool both type of data. So it is possible to pool the time series data and cross-sectional data. If we were to study a particular characteristic or phenomena across several entities over a period of time, we would end up with what's referred to as panel data. Okay, so when panel data is used, the panel data is used, if we want to make a, uh, you know, want to know the study of a particular characteristic or phenomena across the several entities over a period of time. So different points of time, but there is a characteristic is a single point. So characteristic is a single point. We are collecting, uh, we are collecting the data at single point, as well as we are collecting data as a different point of time. So it's a mixed kind of uh, time dependent data. That's why it is called panel data. Okay, so time series is a, that data which is arranged in a different time points. 
cross sectional data is the that data which is arranged at a single point of time okay and this panel data is that data which is mixed kind of time series and cross sectional data okay this is called panel data so so let's see an example of this panel data okay suppose we want to study the co2 carbon dioxide emission of three countries for a period spanning three years from 2015 to 2017 okay so what will we do how you can arrange this data so there are certain three there are three countries like kenya india and brazil okay so in these three countries we have a data of three years 2015 16 and 17 and their particular co2 emission at uh, different you know years like 2015 there will be some some uh, data 2016 i have not mentioned data here because it may be anything so you can take any data from 2015 2016 and 17 for the kenya similarly for india we have data from 2015 16 and 17 similarly brazil so these three this type of data is arranged so it is a panel data how let's see suppose what is time series data it is a mixed kind of data so what is time series data the time series data is a, that data which is arranged at different time points so what are different time points like for like uh, for kenya like for kenya for a particular country there are three different points 2015 16 and 17 so it is a time series data for india also at three different points of time brazil three different point of time but it is a cross sectional data also how see for kenya or you can say for 2015 in 2015 this is a single point of time at this 2015 there are three countries we are collecting the data of three countries in 2015 we have a data of kenya we have a data of uh, india we have data of brazil so in this way it is a cross sectional why because at single time point of time we are collecting data from three different countries so in this way it is a cross sectional data so it is a time series data because for each country there are three different time points 15 16 and 17 and for each time point single time points there are data which is collected from three different countries at a single point of time like 2015 three countries kenya india brazil 2016 17 similarly so it is a mix of time series and cross sectional data so this is called panel data okay so in this way we have explained like uh, look here it is given that here we would study a group of entities like kenya india and brazil over a period of time three years it is a time series data because three years data but at a particular time period we are collecting the data from three countries so in another way around it is a cross sectional data so it is a mix of time series and cross sectional data that's why it is called panel data so as we all know that we have earlier talk about this uh, time series and its nature so essentially the time series is a sequence of uh, numerical data obtained at a regular time interval so it is a data which is arranged in a chronological order okay at a regular time intervals at different time points okay and it occurs in many areas it can it may be from environment it may be from medicine this data may be from economics finance so this time series data is possible everywhere if we are collecting data at different time points and these time points are regular in nature so this is called time series data the aims of time series analysis what is the objective of this time series analysis so basically this times uh, to analyze this time series data we will apply a statistical method that is called time series analysis okay so certain formula certain methodology is uh, generated for analyzing this time series data so 
what are the basic objective of this time series analysis? So, the one is to describe and summarize the time series data. We will summarize uh, what is the this, uh, time series data, what are the different components of this time series data. This is the first objective. Second objective is to fit a model and to make the forecasting. So we will make the forecasting for the future purpose on the basis of given past data. So these are two basic objective of any time series analysis. So how, why this time series data different from other data? How it is different from other type of data? Look, uh, in generally, when we are, we are doing a structural analysis, so there is a general assumption that observations are independent, IID. IID means independent, identically distributed. So one observation is quite different or independent from others. So it is an assumption. But in, in case of time series analysis, this assumption is not fulfilled. Why? Because data from one year is associated with the data of the previous year. So here, data is not independent. So this is the one difference of time series data with another data. So in different data, we will apply the, that, uh, we'll consider that data is independent, but in time series data, this is not independent. This is the one example, uh, one uh, difference. The another is, large sample sizes are good. It is assumed that if we have for a statistical analysis, we have we have a large sample size, then our estimates will be quite good or efficient. But in time series data, this long time series is not preferred. Okay, so this is the second difference. In another data, we are applying the large sample size is preferred, but in time series, we avoid to use the long time series. Why? Because there are some cumulative errors. If error from one, it will go to the another time point, it will go under, so it will be a cumulative error. So generally, or you can say there is a problem of multicollinearity. Multicollinearity is a term or uh, drawback in time series analysis because they may, the error components will be associated with each other and it will create a huge error or cumulative error. So generally long time series data are not preferred. So in these are two, these two things, or you can say there's two difference, two things, two aspects, which make time series data different from the other type of data. So when should time series analysis best be used? So when can be used time series analysis? So we do not assume the existence of deterministic model governing the behavior of system considered. Okay, suppose we are generally, if uh, we are considering that uh, our data is random in nature, because this time series analysis will assume that this phenomena, which is we are considering, that is a random in nature. Okay, that is not deterministic. So it can change with time. So this is the first condition that your data or your phenomena, which is under consideration, should be changed with time. Second, instances where deterministic factors are not readily available. And accuracy of estimate can be compromised on need. It means it, uh, these data or these uh, are changing with time. So one particular estimate cannot be used for the next one. So this, in this situation, we will apply the time series analysis or generally univariate time series analysis. So these are forecasting origins. It means uh, there are three types of forecasting origins. One is long-term, medium-term, and short-term. So if you want to make uh, forecasting, then first of all, we have to decide which particular uh, forecasting term we are using. We are making the long-term forecasting or medium-term forecasting or short-term forecasting. Okay, so in long-term forecasting, we generally make the forecasting from more than five years, like R&D, research and development, plant location, product planning. So these are 
long term forecasting if we want to make make the policies for more than 5 years then we need long term forecasting and medium term forecasting those sessions which are 1 to 2 years like aggregate planning capacity planning sales forecasting so we need medium forecasting for 1 to 2 years and short term forecasting from one day to one year or less than one season suppose demand forecasting stuffing level purchasing inventory level like how much inventory we will keep in our uh, company okay so these are the short term what is the demand of any particular commodity in the next one year so these are called short term origins and the short term forecasting is needed for this to fulfill the this short term origins so these are three types of forecasting origins so accordingly we first we had to decide what is the year whether our term is our purpose is long term medium term and short term and accordingly we will make the forecasting so uh, about this uh, some detailed view we will talk in the next lecture thank you